One last time from the NFL Combine in Indianapolis. I'm here with Leger Doosable at the end of our long week, but a productive week. We've learned Very a lot so. about these prospects and a lot about what the Jets and Giants might do in the top 10. Yeah. Let's start with the Jets. Yeah. Certainly a lot of options for them at a lot of different positions. Mm -hmm. Has this week changed your thoughts at all on what they might do with their two picks? Nah, man, and it's based off what Joe D has done in the past. It's all about the beef up front, right? The offensive line, Iki Guanu put on a show out here at the combine. And even though Evan Neal didn't test, he looked like a mammoth of a man. At 336, I believe, there's no way you're supposed to look like that, Ralph, right. at 336. Also, the receivers were flying. The Jets need a playmaker on the outside, maybe a true number one. They could potentially get that in the draft, and there's going to be a lot of depth in this draft. So you maybe not have to reach in the first round to get your number one receiver. You may be able to get him in the second round. What I like most about the Jets' position is it's really a sweet spot because yep. you're talking about two great pass rushers, Aiden Hutchinson, Kaven Thibodeau, two great offensive oh, yeah. linemen, Iki Aquanu, Evan Neal. Right there, four picks. One of them's got to be sitting there for the One's Jets. Drop. Or a top <laughs> corner or a top safety. I mean, they're going to have a real lot of outstanding options. Oh, yeah, for sure. And, again, Joe D loves to build his team from the front back, right? So if he gets Iki Iguano, if he's able to slide and – after the show he put on, he might go number yeah. one overall. Even Evan Neal is a really good pick if he slides to the number four spot. Guy that has position flexibility, can play right tackle, left tackle, and guard. Did that at Alabama. So that's a good pick to really sure up that offensive line for Zach Wilson. And then you talk about pass rush. Not only in just Aiden Hutchinson and Kayvon Thibodeau, you talk about Jermaine Johnson. David Ojabo, they might be there at the number 10 pick if the, the Jets want a pass rusher to get their premier pass rusher. And then again, receiver. You may not have to reach early in the first round to get them because we saw these receivers flying. A lot of sub 4-4 guys yeah. and potential guys that could go early in the second round if the Jets want their number one receiver. Yep. Iquanu, by the way, you mentioned uh, a lot of buzz about him going oh, yeah. number one overall, which would break the hearts of the Giants and oh, Jets. Yeah, S but. Speaking <laughs> of breaking the hearts of the Giants, with the Jets picking right before them, <laughs> having the same needs, what yeah. they do could really either make the Giants' war room celebrate or be completely <laughs> <in> depressed. <laughs> you know, to me, with the obviously the Giants' need is offensive line. Yeah. I think they're going to want Aquano or Neal at that pick For at sure. number five. Um, has anything you've seen this week changed your thoughts on what the Giants might do with their two picks? Not at all. Now, the only thing that could hurt the Giants is if both of those guys off the board, and you're yeah. talking about they had Thomas at left tackle. Charles Cross is a really good left tackle, but they – Obviously, don't need a left tackle because they have their left tackle for the future. They need everybody else on the you know interior line and a right tackle. So does Tyler Lindenbaum? Do you reach and get him at seven, or do you potentially have the chance to trade back? You know, acquire some assets and maybe get him in the teens or twenty. I think the Giants are in a sweet spot, but they're also in a scary spot just in case yeah. those two top offensive tackles are off the board. Yeah, and also if they are off the board, one of those pass rushers could entice them. If both pass sure. rushers, both offensive linemen are gone. They're going to be very sad. Oh, yeah. but maybe a cornerback at that point. <laughs> they could need that as well. But one thing to remember, everything we've just said and everything we've said all week long, by next week when free agency starts, totally different. it's all going to change. <laughs> so forget everything until then. Leger, great work this week. Of course. Thanks a lot.